Okay, so here we have a demo pat. So once again, what we're going to do is go through and investigate the IP scheme. So let's look here. It looks like we have an S000, has an IP address of 209.110.1 with a 28 bit mask. I also see a sub interface, 192.168.1, and also 192.168.1.129. So try to convert those 5, 26, and 28. So make sure you can do those, okay? So if we have router on a stick working, so if this S00 should match up to the other side. So 209.110.100, let's look at this serial. 209.110.2 with a 28-bit mask. Looks like it has an IPv6 address also, if you look at that. And then the internal network of 172. So. We have 192 over here, and we have 172 over here, both private addresses. So which one do we want to do NAT and PAT with? So if I'm doing NAT and PAT, see which side. Which sides can be doing it, by the way. So um, Cisco and the passwords, show run. That shows me uh, running memory. Well, I got DHCP running. It looks like I'm doing DCP and I'm giving out VLAN 25 IPs and also VLAN 50. Interesting. SSH is configured. We have interface, sub interface, native VLAN. Don't see, does anybody see inside outside NAT? Oh boy, look at there. There it is. IP inside NAT, source list NAT. Interface S0 overload. So if we look at the IP NAT inside source list, that's your ACL, and it's named NAT. <clears throat> we also have an IP NAT inside source static of 134 going to the 209. So a 192 to 209 is a private to public. Let's see what's going with this router on branch. So Cisco in class with the passwords. Show run. Well, this is doing DHCP also. Oh, here we go. So there's IP NAT inside. So inside, is it private or public? Right? Outside is here, public or private, okay? So you see the difference inside, outside. So let's see our ACL that has been written, I'm sorry, my, our NAT and PAT. So IP NAT pool, B2 pool, starting at address 209.110.4. We'll give out 10.4 all the way to 10.14. So is that 11 addresses, 10 addresses? With a net mask of 255.255.255.0. So then we're doing our inside source list is an ACL. It's named B2NAT. So we got to find an ACL named B2NAT. And then the pool name for the NAT and PAT, or it would be the NAT, is B2Pool, which matches this. And then we're doing an inside source static. So we're taking a IP address that's private and letting it go out to the real world using a public. And then here is our access list, IP access list standard B2 NAT. So permit 172.16.10, zero is a match. So match, 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 I don't care. So any IP from one to 254 is permitted to do NAT and PAT. Don't worry about this. this ACL is doing other things. All right, so what we want to do is see if it's working. So let's check the server. It should have a 172.16.1.254 address. 172.16.1.254, default gateway. All right, so according to the NAT and PAT, the real IP 
should be this. So I'm going to copy that. Then we come to this PC. Let's ping it. Like, we don't have to test anything else. We'll just go right to the server. So we should expect a few timeout delays. All right, so it looks like we've reached that IP. All right. So if we go here, if you remember show commands, show IP NAT. So it's show IP NAT translations. So what do we have here? It looks like 209.100.10.3 translated to the 172.16.254 and the outside local was the over here, these VLANs. <clears throat> so let's ping from this PC and see if we get more translations. Remember, you got to do the public, which is going to be the 209.110.3. Okay, so it replied. So do we have more or less? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, let's, let's do this. put a number next to it, 100. So it's going to ping it 100 times. Let's go to this PC. Let's put another hyphen in 100. Now let's watch it on the floor. Look at the translations. See, there's more. So look how many, because we keep pinging it. Every time it pings, it just keeps adding to it. But let's fast forward time. So it looks like the time says 48.29. Let's fast forward about four or five minutes. Now let's see if the translations stay. Now what's your prediction? Think of all the concepts and the protocols we use. Do we want things to stay in long-term memory? Or do we want to clear them out? Clear them out. So these NAT translations don't stay in the router long. Okay. So let's look at it in action here. So... Once again, let's go to simulation. We can see the encapsulation happen. I'm going to speed up with using this speed bar here. Let's go ahead and do it again. I'm going to take away the 100, though. So ICMP, we can expect to see only layer 3. Notice the IP, 192. Okay, once, it comes here. once it reaches a server, sorry, let's go here. So we see the 192 going to 209, 109 going to 209. What do we see now? 10, 192 going to 209. Look what happens right here. Right here. 209 now gets in translated to the internal private address of 172. So if we go here, the 172 now translates back into the 192. So they flip up. So the 192 would say 1.11 is now destination. It was a source. And now the 17254, so it needs to go back to the 209. Okay, so once it hits the router, do we we see the change? It goes from the 172 to the 209, so there's a translation. Now that's ping. So what we want to do now is test the web browser. So it looks like they're... We go real quick into the server. We go to services, DNS. We have all these domains set up that equal the 209.110.3, which is in the router. Remember, that's what's being translated up here. Right here. 
that command allows the internal server private address of 172 to translate to the 209. All right. So what we're going to do now is try the DNS and web browsing. So let's go ahead and go to, well, let's 209. What is the IP of the server? All right, 209.100.10.3. So TCP, port 80, 192 to 209. All right, so once we get through, it gets to the, now we can expect once it gets to the router, that we got to go one more. Look here, the 172 to the 192. Now you see the translation occur. The private address of 172 is now turned into the 209 outside. We want to see the port number. We got to get to server. All right, so now we, we see the port number up to the layers, layer four, TCP. It's using port source number 1025 and then destination port 80. Notice it has the real 209 IP. So that's that's how you translate um, NAT and PAT from internal to private.